So you started in Chicago. Yeah. yeah Did yeah. you ever play the Schomburg Improv at all, ever? Um, I, I've never, no, I actually never played that. I never played Zanies either. Wow. Well, I, I did play Zanies like as a showcase, like being on the showcase or whatever, but Bert, who used to book it, ugh, he, um, <laughs> He got mad at my agent for something that I didn't. The agent I don't even work with anymore, and he was like, "Well, then your client Mateo's never working here again." So I never wow. worked Zanies, but I'm doing the Chicago Theater in a couple weeks. So. Yeah, wow. sold okay. out. Yeah, sold out. I know. It's unbelievable. I'm so excited. It's so unbelievable. Dude. I, and I'm, my whole family's coming. I have like 34 first cousins, and they're all going to be there. And they're meeting my husband. They've not met him yet, so he's going to be completely attacked all at once. That's, I can't wait. Dude, I'm wait, they haven't met your husband yet. No, we just got married. Only my mom and dad have met him because we did a city hall wedding, which is like getting married at. Oh, you know, whoa, you guys jail. are so hot. He's so hot. Oh my God, oh you guys are so too hot. Well, we're dressed like gay club owners in 1978. <laughs> like we've just done cocaine, but. Um, but you guys are so cool. I know, yeah. I love him so much. There he is, Rodrigo. What is he? Mexican from Mexico. You're Mexican. Yeah. It's working. Yeah. <laughs> I look the like Mexican a deli American. worker, but you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that a one piece thread? No, it does look like a one piece, but yeah. it's a two piece. But it, it, Whoa. it's, yeah. It's, well, how did you guys meet? We met on Instagram. Oh. Who's I, DM? Me, hey, I'm desperate. I, I mean, look <laughs> at him. Of course I was the first one going to message him. He he was doing these videos like, you know, these like almost soft core porn videos. Now people do like, get ready with me in the yeah. morning. And they're in their underwear <laughs> You know, anyway, so I was just going through my Explore page. I think I was on a plane, and uh, I saw him, and I was like, oh, I was like, he's so hot. And so then I followed him, and then he followed me back. And then I was like, hey, and he was like, hey, and we started chatting, and then it just didn't stop. Did he live in New York? Uh, no, he lived in Mexico. So I was, we were going back and forth in Mexico and wow. New York. That's such a fun LDR. I know. It was so cute. I'm like, oh. Well, so oh, he lived in Mexico. You lived in New York. Yeah. Well, let, exp talk to me about the first time you met him. Uh, he came in April to New York for the first time. So that's yeah. where we, we first met. We've and did you, pick, did you pick him up at the airport? I did. Oh, I went all sweet. the way to JF fucking K <laughs> to pick so him sweet. up. Which he has no concept of how annoying that is. And... um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he came out and uh, I just, I, we went, I've said, and it's so gross because I hate being sentimental. But I, when I met him, the first thing I thought was, oh, he's going to be in my life a very long time. And we fell in love immediately. I know we can, we connect very well and we're all, we're interested in, I like things. details. I like details. Wait, so, how long had you guys been talking before meeting? We started talking in February. So February, March, and then April. And he was like, okay, we're FaceTiming each other. Good morning. Good night. Like we need to yeah. meet. Oh. I was like, yeah, come to New York. And he was like, all right, I'm going to get a ticket. A hundred percent. Good morning. Good night is, is you guys are on. Yeah. Did you help buy the ticket or did you buy no, it? No, no, he got it. That's, that's great. I love that. Why is that so important to you? He does like he's got like modeling jobs and commercial work and stuff in in Mexico. No, he's going to. Uh, 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 why is that important to me? Yeah. Well, I'm just saying if I met somebody okay. right and they were like, I want to come out, and I'm like, okay, you have to buy the ticket. To me, yeah, it would make me feel a little weird. That's all. Yeah, well, he he I was like, that. do you want to come to Mexico? And I was like, honestly, I'm still touring, so it would be easier if you could just come to New York. Like, yeah, it would just mm. be so much easier for me. But did you guys? So he gets off the plane, you hug. Yes, I saw. Oh. That's the biggest test, right? Because you can have all of the connection via FaceTime, but then the physical chemistry is the only thing you're yeah. not sure about. Yeah. But when you when you saw him in person, you, you immediately think immediately. <gasps> oh my god! I know. Even touching. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I love him. How long did he stay out the first time? Uh, just four days. Oh, oh that's it. <gasps> did you oh do God. spots? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't <laughs> great, do anything. I was like, at the, I wasn't going to be like, bad guy, six cellar. spots at the cellar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, what? That would have been, <laughs> yeah, been terrible. We did have a reception at the cellar because we had a city hall wedding and I was like, I just told Liz, who's the manager. Of the I love cellar, her. She's the best. She's the best. And I was like, can we just do a reception at the cellar? Thinking the, uh, just a place for us to meet up. They had... A wedding cake they oh made for us. Johnny, one of the waiters, made us a wedding cake, and it was so beautiful. All my friends and it was just a really beautiful day. Wow! Yeah. That's so sweet. And did you? So the second time now, did you go to Mexico? I went to Mexico. I have a whole I, uh, I have a whole new bit about it, so I don't want to give it away. You don't have to here. give it away. But basically, I was delayed seven and a half hours because of a fucking volcano while I was stuck in the San Antonio airport, which is the <laughs> ugliest people I've ever seen. In my life. <laughs> So it was a nightmare, but I made it. I made it to yeah. Mexico. Yeah. I'm Mexico. Yeah, you haven't been to El Paso, but my point is... <laughs> <laughs> um, so you, 
And then, so you went to Mexico. Mm-hmm. How long did you stay at that time? Uh, I stayed, well, that was two days, and I came back another, a couple weeks, and we sta- I stayed for, like, uh, 12 days or something like that. Wow. Because then my vacation started, and then him and I went to Italy together, so I got to introduce all of my friends and family in Italy, and then we went back to Mexico, back to America, and it just was like, okay, we're in love. Let's did you meet his family when you were in went yeah, to Mexico? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. I know his sister is his, now my niece, uh, his other sister, his mother, his aunt. They were so, and you know what's funny is like, because I, I speak Spanish, but I have like a really thick Italian accent when I speak it. Um, they <laughs> were just so much more chill than Italians are. Like I was waiting for like them to like kiss me and hug me, and, like, but they were like, "Oh my God, so nice to meet you." I'm like, "Oh, Rodrigo, you're gonna be attacked by my family. <laughs> oh, they're gonna eat you alive." He's like, "No, I'm ready for the more." I'm like, "You're not. You're not ready for it. You're yeah. not. I'm gonna just lose him in a sea of ants. I just don't." Wow. Yeah. I love that though. I love just physical, like swarmed by physical affection. I know. I read this article it was like, "Don't force your child to hug an adult if they like an uncle or aunt if they." They don't want to like give them their space. Like this does not apply to Italians. Yeah, <laughs> there I is no personal space in Same an Italian with Filipinos. family. Yeah. So yeah. for us, it's kind of 